What's up guys? A lot of you have been asking me why I'm only doing Android related stuff on my YouTube channel. And that's because you guys decide what videos you want me to do. It's not really up to me, it's up to you. And your requests have been a lot of Android related things. So I kind of want to show you guys that I, obviously I can do other things, so I'm going to switch it up a little bit today. Um, I'm going to show you something completely different, something really cool, and it could even save you a lot of money. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to be talking about Google Chrome extensions and the extra features and functionality that can easily add to the web browsing experience. So I'm going to go ahead and load up Google Chrome. Now if you're using a Chromebook, you could pretty much do the same thing. And to add extensions, it's really easy. I'll show you, just go under settings and you'll notice you'll have an extensions, an extensions tab and you'll see a couple of my extensions here which I will talk about. So let's get started with the very first one. I will go to Amazon.com and let's say I'm looking for a camera, the Canon 5D. Now have you ever bought something later to realize that you could have got a better deal? I'm sure that happens a lot and this extension will allow you to save money. Let me show you what it does. So let's take a look here at the Canon EOS 5D Mark III. And this extension called Tractor allows me to see the history of this product and where the price points have been. So right now it's currently priced at $3,499. But at one given point, it looks like it was on May 1st, it was $2,679. That is huge. That is almost $1,000 off compared to the original price or the price that it's at right now. And I can even go back to even six months. I'm not sure if it's been that long since it's been released. Um, it was just a couple months, a whole year, and of course the lifetime of a product. The nice thing about this extension is that you can set up notification reminders so that when the product reaches a specific price that you want to specify, it will send you an email whether it's new or used or both. So for example, I want to know when the price is at 3498 or I could even put 3700 and when I click track this item, whenever this item reaches $3700, I will get an email notification letting me know that this camera is available at the price that I'm willing to pay for it. I can't stress how much money I've actually saved or have been able to pick up an item at a lot lower price. The next extension that I want to talk about is called Hover Zoom, and probably probably one of my favorite ones. This allows you to put your mouse cursor above an image, and it, what it will do is maximizes to the highest resolution that the image is. So, for example, if I uh, decide to scroll down here and I'm looking at that 32 gigabyte card, rather than me clicking on it, I can just put my mouse cursor over it and I can see its full image, same with the battery, and see what it looks like without me having to click on this. I really like this uh, extension and I use it a lot, especially on social networking sites. Uh, a lot of times I tend to not want to click into the photo gallery and I just want to look at what the image looks like at its full resolution. Now, in some cases it doesn't work, like in this one here, you see it's not working, and that is because this image is already at its highest resolution. In other words, the website is not downsizing it or downsampling it. This is basically 100%. But most of these, the website is actually downsizing them because these are just thumbnails. Um, again, this is one of my favorite um, extensions and I think that you guys uh, will like it. The next extension I want to talk about is called Goog URL Shortener. And this is really helpful or useful when you want to send a URL to somebody or post it on Twitter. So for example, let's say I wanted to send this to all of my Twitter followers about this great camera. If I were to copy this URL, it would use up all of the 160 characters because it's very long. So what I, all I have to do is click on this Goog URL shortener, click on copy. Now what it does is it shortens the URL. So let me show you. When I hit paste and I hit enter, that's the same URL that was there before but a lot shorter and I've actually used this a lot and find it very handy especially when posting something on Twitter that doesn't give you a lot of uh, space to write. 
My next extension that I want to show you guys is called the Google Mail Checker. And as you can see, there is a number one here, and that's letting me know that I have one unread email. And this could be very nice when you're browsing the web, but I'm not necessarily logged into my Gmail account right now or have it open on any tabs. However, this is linked to your Gmail account and it's letting me know that I have one unread mail. And when I click on it, it'll load up my email and show me that I have an unread email. I click on the test, which I just sent it right now for the sake of this demo, and that is my unread email. Once again, very nice. Let me just close some of these tabs. And definitely uh, uh, a plus when you're browsing the web. The next extension I want to talk about is called Turn Off the Lights. And this is mainly used on YouTube when you're not using the full maximize on a video, when you're not fully maximized, excuse me. So for example here I want to take a look at this video. I just click on Turn Off the Lights and especially at night when LCD screens can be very bright you could just turn off the lights and it dims the screen so your attention is on the video rather than all of the white stuff around it and actually you could probably even save your battery life too on your laptop. The next extension I want to talk about is one called Mighty Text and if you see a text message down here that's actually live I actually did get this message right now and I'm gonna go ahead and reply give me a second here um, Coming over to your mom's house. This is actually this is no no uh, fluke. This is actually true. Sending a message right now. And what Mighty Text allows you to do is exactly that: is send text messages using your browser. Um, so as you're browsing the web, you get a text message. You don't have to pick up your phone and reply. And the reason why I have this site loaded here is because you also have to download the Mighty Text application onto your computer I mean excuse me onto your Android device and this is the uh, URL up here and I'll, I could also post that in the bottom I believe you can just uh, at the Google Play Store um, there it is I got the, the text message right now and I could just close that reply so you have to install this onto your Android device and it just takes a few seconds to set up and when you're browsing the web as you saw right now you get notifications and I have to say that this is one of the apps or extensions that I cannot live without I browse the web so much that my phone is sending me text messages and I don't like to pick it up I could just reply here and it makes it a lot easier and if I click up here I can't click on it because it'll show up a whole bunch of contacts and stuff but you guys can try it when you click up here I can easily send text messages and of course go back to the, my text messages that I was having conversations with and easily reply or delete. The last one I want to talk about is Chrome Remote Desktop Beta. Now this one's going to be a little difficult for me to demo so you guys are going to have to just check this out but in a nutshell this allows you to access somebody else's computer. Obviously somebody that's giving you permission to access their computer and this could be very useful if you do a lot of IT work or if you're let's say for example my dad always needs help <laughs> I can easily just help him um, by remote controlling um, the computer so again this isn't gonna be a little bit difficult for me to demonstrate so I just encourage you guys to check it out if that is something that you're interested so it's really easy if you want to add extensions remember go to settings go to extensions and here's a list of all the extensions and if you scroll down you can click on get more extensions and you'll often find pretty good ones here popular trending and of course collections there's also categories of different types of extensions that you may like I know of a lot of extensions uh, I'm just wanted to do this video to kind of show you guys how you can better your experience when you're browsing the web. I know that a lot of times people don't realize that you can make your web experience a lot better. So, you know, you guys can, can take a look at that and share uh, any of them that you like below. That was some pretty powerful stuff. Chrome extensions can really enhance the experience while browsing the web. Do you guys have any extensions you want to share with us? Leave them down below in the comments area. 
keep sending video requests. I get tons of emails and though I can't respond to every single one of you, I do read every message. And to get the latest on what I'm doing, follow me on Twitter, Google Plus, I've left those links below. Please subscribe, I release new videos every Tuesday and thanks for watching, I'll see you next Tuesday.